Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back to the Killed Import channel. Hello. Sorry if I sound a little bit wired out, but I've been drinking Red Bull. Um, we are going to be doing stage four of the Tour de, Z Tour de Zwift today. As you can see on your screen on the right side, we are going to be doing the B class, which is one lap of a 15.6 mile loop with 1167 feet of elevation gain. So let me just get finished wrapped up here. I just gotta put my Red Bull back in the fridge because I left it out. I'm not drinking the whole thing. And then we're gonna stretch out the hammies, get the shoes on. And we're gonna start getting into this and getting warmed up. So I hope you guys are ready. Hopefully you guys have a bike and can join along. If not, whatever. It's all good. Do it later. This time, you may have noticed that we're not just going with the bog standard Zwift sound. I'm actually playing some hopefully uh, non DMCA music, so hopefully, I'm not going to get attacked on YouTube or Twitch by this. Streams are stretched. Let's hit start ride. Let's get us in there to get started. It's that way we're in and we're on. I'm in a bit of a panic. Uh, not panic. I'm just stressing out more than I should for this because I was like, all right, I finished the last stream this morning. We got finished playing Isaac. And now I was like, all right, I'm going to get the bike set up. Everything's going to be good. Plenty of time. No problem. And then I go to start it up Zwift and it didn't want to work. I had to restart my game, or my PC, log back in, try getting everything up and running again, and then it just crashed my computer, so I don't know what the hell's going on. That's a very annoying sound with people joining in. Alright, let's uh, do my shameless plug real quick. My keyboard's on the other side. Cool. I gotta do my shameless plug. Freaking type properly, this wouldn't be so bad. There we go. Is that shameless enough? All right, time for shoes. Time for shoes. For anybody that doesn't know much about cycling, I use these shoes here. They're ugly as dirt, but if you can see on the bottom, that little bit right there clips into the pedals of my bike, which results in more efficient riding. Not only is it like a regular shoe where you, you know, on a, if you don't wear clip-ins, you know, you ride your bicycle normal, you push down on the pedal, and you push down, you push down, you push down. When they're clipped in like this, it gives you the ability to pull up on the pedal also. So you're not just pushing down, you're pulling up and you can actually use more muscles that way, put out more power and you're just more efficient. Just for those that don't know. There are a lot of people that don't know. Oh, 
don't know if I want the music up higher or down lower. Let's see what we got. Greatest London Loop Reverse is the name of this one. It's happening all Fort Mill, South Carolina, representing Hi from Soesterberg NL. What the hell is it? Netherlands? Is that what NL is? You guys, let me know if the sound is like kind of doubling up and being annoying because I have the music playing through my speakers so I can hear it, but I also know all that sound's getting blasted into the microphone. And I just don't know how offset it is. I don't know what the delay is, if it sounds kind of funky. This is my first time trying it like this. I tested it with the recording, it seemed fine, but you never know. All right, we're down to less than five minutes to warm up. Did not want to sit there and do that. I kind of wanted to have 10 minutes on this, but oh well. Now you guys get to listen to my super annoying rear tire on the trainer. With the microphone in front of me here. Hope I don't get too much sweat on it. See, this thing's not even gonna be a wind guard. The wind guard I have on the front, it's not even a wind guard anymore. It's just a, it's a sweat umbrella. <laughs> right, let's slowly get these legs warmed up. I'm thinking about posting a picture of how this setup looks like in the Discord. So if you want to join the Discord, look uh, on my page here on Twitch. It's not on YouTube. YouTube, if you want to go see this, you got to go over to Twitch. Twitch.tv forward slash kilted underscore pork. You'll see a link in the description below the video on how to get there. And if you're on Twitch, uh, there's a little Discord link in the about page or the about tab on here. So come join the Discord. And if you want a picture of my setup, just let me know. Right on. Right on. Right on. Right on. Oh man, this setup is not meant to be. I'm not supposed to be sitting up like this on this bike. It hurts my ass so bad. Hola from freezing London. You say hola. So, in Spanish, all these bright ons, what is going on? Normally I have the game sound turned off so I don't have to hear any of this shit every time I do this. Oh my god, that is so annoying. If you've watched the previous stages of me writing this, have you had to listen to this crap the whole time? Hello from Michigan, howdy from Ottawa, Sweden and start. Alright, let's kick it up into the big ring. Actually, no, I want to keep it in the little small ring for now. Right on, right on, right on. We got some Canada there, bud. Me and Charlie. Ho from New York. So we have a ho from New York. I even oiled my chain for this. Well, that's a pretty good idea. I and mean, it's standard bike maintenance. And I hope that they used a dry lube and they wiped off the excess. Because I think I've seen a video or something online of some guy. He might have taken a picture. He lubed up his chain, but he didn't wipe off the excess. So when he was riding, it just fucking sprayed all over his goddamn house or his garage or wherever he was. It was just a mess. Chicago, Glasgow, Concord, North Carolina, Tennessee. Tennessee, I think that's where Combo's from, if I recall. Four to five hundred meters is climb, and yeah, that's what we're doing. 
said like 1167 or something like that. I'd say 1150 of climbing. 15 point something miles. Try to take some deep breaths, get that freaking long expansion going. Right, so it looks like the B class starts in one minute after the A class. Have a great ride, everybody. Hi, Jim. I'm from East Tennessee, too. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Two, one, let's go. Stage four of the Tour de Zwift. 2023 is on its way, B class. Ride on. I never actually had to sit here and listen to the this thing on the train or this bad before. It's whiny, oh my goodness. Ride on. You guys should be able to hear that. All right, let's try to start down in a aero positioning. Stay nice and comfortable. Courtney Larker is jumping in. Thank you for joining me on this ride. It's nice to have you here. Love to hear some motivation from you. Oh, this is the lead in. It doesn't need to be crazy. All right, so what's today's goal? Time-wise, I don't really have one set. Let's go 45 minutes. And what's 776 divided by two? I just want to get in that top 50%. There's D. Miguel again. We've ridden with that ghost before. I'm sure Maria is going to be in here somewhere if we didn't already pass her and Coco. Let's hope I don't get DC this time. If you watch stage three, <laughs> I was really shooting for a, a, a finish in front of the, all these people, and I was setting up for it. And we were like, what, just a little over a half mile from the finish line. I was prepping to do a sprint. Well, I was gonna wait till like the last quarter mile and then I got disconnected like the I lost the connection to my trainer and I had to freaking sprint like that last bit and I never caught up to him so it kind of screwed me over yep we went down some plywood and we're going into the London subway state uh, subway systems I would like to actually see them turn this into a real race where you actually have to put down all this fucking plywood. <laughs> Already one mile in, dang. Oh wait, no we're not. Just one mile since we left the start line. We didn't actually start the loop. The good news is this should warm up my house fairly well because it's been freezing in here. Still trying to get the legs warmed up. My legs are still hurting from Thursday, which sucks. For those that are watching on YouTube in the future, it is Sunday, January 22nd. Oh man, I can tell that 5% kicked in. Oh man, that's really kicking in. Let's get out of the saddle already. I'm 
I'm not really trying to force my way past anybody super quick. It's just... It'll... It'll be nice and warm at the top, they say. It says Hanu. But... I try to use my way to my advantage. When uh, going up hills. I mean, that sounds kind of counterproductive. But... If I can get up out of the saddle in some of the medium hills, then I can really use all my weight to put power into the pedals and stuff, sitting down and only using my legs. And they weren't kidding, I'm starting to get warmed up now. What's that? Uh, I think my goal is the top fifty percent would be like what uh, position three eighty eight, I think. I guess one good thing is we're getting a lot of this climbing out of the way. We're up over 100 feet now. And, ooh, 8%. I had a lot of food yesterday, so I'm hoping all that stuff still in my system. It's gotta be. I didn't take a big enough shit to dump it all out. I just still have plenty of fuel in me. Plus, I had two cups of coffee this morning, a cliff bar, and then like half a Red Bull. And funny enough, in what I just told you, you didn't hear me say one word about drinking water. <laughs> like a moron. See the God light up there on that blue rider at the far end of the curve? I think that's Coco. I think. Ooh, nine percent. Ten percent. Shit. We got a lot of climbing to do. <sighs> Holy shit. <sighs> I'm still trying to figure out that bit on the bottom of the map. On the top of the right part of your screen, the map. So, the bottom portion of that map screen, there's like that grayed out area. I think that might be an elevation map, and I think the little red like pin with the arrow in it pointing left, I think that's my position. And so, <laughs> it looks like the first half of this is going to be all uphill. And just that little bit of hill we just did already kind of hit me. 
I'm not gassing out by any means. It's just like, God damn. Okay. I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to do like this. Oh yeah. Oh, fuck me, this is gonna suck. This is... <laughs> oh God. <laughs> this looks like, let's see how far we're in, 2.6 miles. I think I had like maybe a half mile lead in. This is going to be like six miles of up. Fuck. Don't expect much talking out of me, chat. I'm already dripping sweat. Eleven percent. Yeah, all right. I'm back in the saddle. Drop the gear. Lower the gears. Luckily, the whole backside of this thing's downhill. So I think we're uphill, probably until mile seven, like grab right mile seven ish. Well, we're on Keith Hill, so this is a 2.7 mile hill. So, I'm hoping enough people will gas out by the top of the hill and I'll be able to use the weight in my legs to really shoot down the backside and get the positioning I want. Because so I think it was like, Three, position 388 or better. And right now I'm at 355, so we're doing good. If I can get better than 350, I'd be pretty happy. These guys are making moves. It's making me want to go faster, but I know that's a mistake. I'm just trying to keep my watts around 200 or, or better. Looks like we're maybe a quarter way up this hill. Pony who says drifting back to the caboose and going to ride it in like a hobo. 12%, yeah, damn. Watch my ceiling fan come down on my head. Let's put some gear in it. Get out of the saddle for a bit. says, I was going to become a Gregorian monk, but never got the chance. C-H-A-N-T-S. Somebody ban him. <laughs> Fucking dad jokes. <sighs> I 
You hear my chain rubbing a bit. Tough ride in a road too. Getting almost to the halfway point of this climb. of what yeah so what I'm thinking is the god light up above and then all the other like gold named ghosts I think, oh, this guy's having literal standstill every 30 seconds. He's having connection issues. If you look at how they're all spaced out on the elevation map, they look almost even except for the god light up front. So I think those are just pace setters. They gotta be CPU or computer AI or whatever. CPU bots, I don't know what they're called anymore. Guess has never had these issues, but he's promised only during the tour to win. Or he's just never seen them before. I've had connection problems twice, and during the tour. But I know I've had them outside the tour before too. It could be just because my fat meat body is sitting right between the Bluetooth receiver and the trainer. Third one, app crashed on the run, lost my ride. I wonder if it's just because I don't know if this is possible if they have the uh, trainer connected to their phone, then they're using their phone through the Bluetooth in their house or something like that. So I have a USB Bluetooth receiver plugged into my computer. So the trainer goes to there. And then my PC is hardwired into my router. So just to try to eliminate as many connection issues as possible. We are still going up there. I'm, I'm dropping positions. Still in the top 50, but just right around it. Uh. 
We're holding a good steady 200 watts, that's good. I think we have about a quarter of a hill left. Based on the elevation, man, I think it's gonna start flattening out a bit. We're at 750 feet of elevation gain. within like the first four miles. So, we're already well over halfway up the total climb, and not even a third of the way done for the total distance. I'm hoping to hit level nine today. You got about what? 15, 12, 15% left before I level up. Okay, we've officially dropped into the lower 50% of riders. Just outside the top 50. All right, flatten out a bit. That almost looks like a downhill, but it's not. It's just flat. Get some water down this. We're not done going up hill yet. There he goes, he's taking water again right when I did. My character. All right, these guys are going for it now. Can I get my heart rate down? It says it's at 84. That's not right. I don't know why. My Fitbit does not like to track my heart rate correctly when I'm playing this game. I don't know why. It's just got to be the way my hands are positioned. All right, negative 12%. Here we go. Here we go, downhill. That guy's in the super tuck arrow position. Look at him go. Not the guy next to me, but the guy with the bike up front. See, look. More gear. Yeah. The guy on the Tron bike in front of us, W. Gilbertson, is using. Uh, the guy next to me is doing it right in front of me, right here. That, I believe. I'm not sure. I'd have to double check, but I thought it was banned by the UCI. I know the Superman position was. Well, we're gonna pick up some serious miles. Do 45 miles an hour down this. Pee more. Well, if I drank more water, I would. I would pee more. Oh my god, these guys freaking caught up to me quick. Damn, I'm up to the 400s now. Oh, 
thought I was hoping for a top 50%, but these guys really must have conserved their energy on the way up. Got some freaking banger beats now. Still should have like another 300 feet of elevation gain, but looking at that elevation map, it's pretty much all downhill. Oh, there was some uphill right there. Oh. Here's my drafting boost. I'm gonna hold that momentum coming off that downhill. I just don't see where the hell we're gonna be getting. Oh, like 300 feet of elevation. Look on the elevation map, look at that guy way out front. You know, this, this tour to sort of better help me with my overall speed my triathlons because in the triathlons I can get into a good groove and just sit down on the aero bars and just diesel my way through it at a constant pace you know for the 56 miles but this it's like trying to stay in front of these guys even uphill and downhill it's just I'm really pushing. Oh, okay, I'm looking at the elevation map. That's only zoomed in for this one section. I'm sure it's going to refresh for the second half. So we'll see a new hill come up eventually. I'm assuming. Because if you look on the elevation map, it shows that we're right towards the bottom there. And I thought that would have been the finish line. What does it say I'm going uphill? That's not uphill. Is it? I guess it is. I'm going to use the momentum in my legs. Any more climbs? Yes. There are. Claus also says no, but he is wrong. Ross Finn says no, but he is wrong also. There are more climbs to come. Maybe just trying to fuck with them psychologically. Only if you tail around too. No, like, see, it updated. Here comes the next hill. <laughs> the elevation map updated.
I'm gonna wait till they see that hill and go, what the fuck? You lied. Oh, there's a hill coming out of this too right here. You have to climb up these stairs. Right here. I remember this. Alright, let's get right here. Fifteen percent is a lot. Right. I was in the wrong gear for that. Oh, that kind of burnt me right there. Still got to make up about 20 positions. More than that now. Keep getting past. You know, some of these guys are just in, in some crazy shape. Oh, that was a hard shift. Eh? That was loud. Why am I swinging it so far wide? I got taken the inside there. All right, let's get down in the arrow. Uh, there's different bits of my muscles here. Even just leaning forward like this versus sitting up straight. You're engaging tiny different bits of your muscles. You're still working the same muscles, but just changing position. Change which bits are being stressed more. That groove's dropping me something good. Now the little dots on the elevation map are going back the other way. What the heck? All right, come on, kills with focus. Get in the zone, bud. Put your head down and go. Relax them shoulders. Deep breaths. Deep breaths. You guys think I'll catch him and get back in that top 50? We'll see. We shall see. I'm curious. If you're in makeup week for the tour, if you miss the stage, never makeup week at the end. If I can go back and redo ones I've already done. Fuck man, I'm still getting passed by people. Fuck man, I don't know how these guys are just zipping by me so quick. I can almost guarantee we're gonna level up before the end of this ride. Guess I'll sit here. 
I've lost 75 positions. I don't know how. I think I, at one point I gained 100 and I lost 75 of them. I guess I was better uphill. Maybe I'll just stick in with these guys for a bit. Maybe my downfall is trying to get out there and push by myself, not using a team effort, which makes sense. But I'm just so used to pushing my own weight with doing triathlon and stuff. You're not allowed to be in groups like this. You're not allowed to draft off each other. It's against the rules because it's supposed to be each person racing their own race. All right, my heart rate's coming down, that's good. Just sitting here with these guys is so much easier. Got a bit of a long hill coming up. Not steep, but long. All right, there's a guy that says pee more, and the other guy says pee blower. He's blowing some pee. Honestly, my name begins with a P too, so I can't really say shit about it. I, admit, I got made fun of a lot for my name in high school, and middle school, and elementary school, and at my jobs of employment, and in college. It just doesn't end, even in my 30s. I've actually, I don't know if I told this story on screen, but because of what my name is, I've actually gotten in trouble a few times at work and other places because I've actually lost, lost a, I think I lost a job once too because of my name, because they're like, they looked at the name, but like, it's not real. Like, you gotta take this seriously. It's like, that's my actual name. Here's my driver's license. They're like, uh oh. I got yelled at by a customer really bad because of that. I worked for a company that built and installed like sun sun covers and metal buildings for uh, for aircraft for the United States Air Force. I mean the Marines, I mean Marines own aircraft also, but one time I was on the phone with a sergeant from one of the uh, military bases, I don't remember which one. He was like, what's your name? And I told him. He was like, well, what's your first name? Your actual name? I was like, my full name is this. He said, like, I don't have time to be fucking around. I want to talk to your boss immediately. This bullshit, you guys are so unprofessional. So, I was like, yes sir, just a moment. Transfer over to the boss, the owner of the company. You now I can hear him down the hallway. Oh, yes. No, that's yes, Sergeant. I know. No, that's his actual name. Yeah, I know it is weird. Yeah, but that is actually it. I was just like, Jesus Christ, man. It sucked. I can say, I guess, lucky for me. Like, I was hot-headed back then, but I didn't really have the balls to stand up to people. And 
I say I'm less hot-headed now, but I'm still hot-headed. But I'll, I'll talk shit to people now, I don't care. And where I work at now, there was this one guy, he was at the, at the time, not so much anymore, but he was our best customer. We earned, like our company brought in millions of dollars of work from this guy. And so one day we had this project that needed to get done for him. And he gave me a, an absurd deadline to finish it. I mean, so ridiculous. It was a two week job. The job that I should have given me two weeks to do. He gave me, I think, three days. And I worked all night, multiple nights, crazy hours, got it done, got it sent out. And the delivery driver that I was supposed to deliver it was like new or something fucked up and didn't get it in on time. He showed up like four hours late. So the customer kept calling me. He's like, where is this shit? And like cursing at me. I was like, I'm sorry, you know, I'll call the delivery company and see where it's at. I was like, hey, you said it's an hour out. I was supposed to be here at 11. Well, now they're saying noon. And there was a few of those phone calls back and forth because it wasn't there by noon. It wasn't there by 12 there. It wasn't there by one. Showed up at like two or 2.30. And yeah. Hold on, catch my breath. So on that last, like one of the last uh, phone calls, he calls me up and he's like, where the fuck is this? I told you, I was like, dude, I told you what's going on. I was starting to get short. I was like, hey, they said it's gonna be this time. I can't do anything about it. You can call them. Here's the tracking number. Then he starts attacking me directly. He's like, you're a piece of shit. You're freaking so dumb and this and that. He's like, you're incompetent. You don't know shit about anything. Like just yelling at me. Like cursing at me, calling me a piece of shit. And fucking worthless and all that. So I finally got tired of hearing it because I've been up for days working on his project. Broke my back to get it done. And I don't get paid overtime. <sighs> no one even said thank you for me getting it done in an absurd amount of time. But when he's belittling me over the phone, I finally snapped. I was like, listen here, you fucking piece of shit. If you talk to me, you just, I was like, you know, what did I say? I was like, you better watch who the fuck you're talking to. I know who you are, I know where your office is, and I know what you look like. And I guarantee, if you start talking any more shit to me, I'm gonna drive to your office, I'm gonna put your fucking teeth against the curb, and you're never gonna eat solid food again, motherfucker. I was like, I'll come and beat the shit out of you. I threatened him, full threatened him. And I was going to, too. I was over it. So, he slammed the phone, he hung up. And my engineer's sitting there right next to me at his desk. And he was like, who the hell are you just talking to? And I told him, he was like, God damn it. He said, like, you know he's our best customer. I was like, well, I guess I'm getting fired because that was bullshit. Long story short, I actually already gave you the long part, but one, I still work there, unfortunately. And two, he doesn't work with us anymore because I think he went out of business because nobody wanted to work with him anymore. But like an hour after I freaking told him I was gonna kick his ass, he sent me an email apologizing. He was like, I was wrong, this and that. I printed that email out and it's still sitting up on my fucking wall in my office. <sighs> because it's not the first time that guy's like 
demanded shit and just like talk down to people in our office. But no one would stand up to him because he had money. And unfortunately, or fortunately, it works for and against me. I'm not a guy who'll stand up to that shit. I don't care how much money you have. You're being an asshole. I'll put you in your place. I'm not gonna go out of my way to be an asshole. It's only des if it's deserved. I mean, you really gotta be an asshole. I'm not gonna just be doing it all willy-nilly. Like, uh oh, you know, you should have got this done faster. I'm disappointed in you. And then that's it. No. That's when people are coming in here like, you didn't even try. You're not a team player. Anything like that. Or you don't listen to us. I say, fuck you, I don't. There's a reason why I've been in that same fucking chair for 10 years. And all these companies keep coming back to us for work. Because our company is a proper piece of shit as far as management and ownership goes. But our designs know how to keep things like built properly and very cost effective. On our design side between myself and my engineer, we're fast, we're efficient, and we're accurate as fuck. Yes, some things do get missed, small things here and there. But I mean, they're so minuscule. It's just something the company has to eat. Like a cost they have to eat. It's like, oh, on this one house we're building, you forgot to add like one piece of rebar on this plan. It's like, so we're gonna have to eat the cost. I look at the cost for the whole building. It was like $40. It was just for the foundation. It's like, we're making like two grand a slab. You're gonna yell at me for 40 bucks? I don't know guys, if we're not gonna get that top 50%, I've been putting in a good effort. I'm not disappointed with my effort at all. But the other group is just, they just took off. Coming down that hill, I don't know how they did it, but I was like in almost my highest gear and I was freaking pushing it down that hill. And they were still just passing me. in the bottom 50%, damn it. I don't know where everybody went, they just took off. Combo, how are you doing, man? I'm at the last half mile here. Freaking dying. The riders today are just fucking insane, man.
I've been putting in a pretty good effort and these guys are just walking by me. So you get in under 50 minutes. 15 seconds left. Tear off some of these gears. Fuck. Fuck. So we did another 50 minutes. On like the Xbox Connect. Those roots always killed me. Yeah. Today's route was freaking. Insane, man. I mean, we had a worse one, I think last week. But this one, I mean, like you're doing over a thousand feet of elevation gain. And it's like 15 and a half miles. But all that elevation, I think we did like 75% of the elevation in the first like four miles. So it was just, it's fucking like straight uphill. All right, so now, time for the cool down. Time for more ceiling fan. I'm glad the ceiling fan right by my head. It's like right here. My finger's almost hitting it. It's like this far above my head. Like eight inches. Uh, I haven't brought my second water bottle, but with all that climbing, I didn't really have time to get to it. And I was just putting in such an effort in the downhills on the flats just to try to stay in that top 50%, but I didn't, couldn't hold it. Those guys were cooking down that hill. I pass a lot of people going uphill. I know I think I hit like position 350. Maybe we finished around like what, 4, 430? So it's like I gained over 100 positions and I lost like 70 or 80 of them. Now my Fitbit says I'm at like 140 beats per minute. That's more accurate. Okay. A couple more minutes on the cool down. It's pretty realistic. I can attest, you know, I've done a lot of outdoor cycling and I mean, it's not 100% accurate, but I mean, it hurts. It's no joke. You know, I'm a pretty good athlete and getting on this is just, it freaking tears me up. It's not like, like jumping on a treadmill. Cause treadmills at your gym, that doesn't do it, you know? It's like, yeah, you're gonna get tired on it, but it's not the same effect as being outdoors. The treadmill has a lot of flex into it. So you're not getting the impact of your knees. So that's one benefit really for them. And also, on a treadmill, the ground is moving under you. So you're not having to force your weight forward. Unlock the camo kit, there we go, level nine. I knew we were gonna get that shit today. And then another thing with, I mean, even with this, this and on treadmill, you don't have headwind. When you're actually pushing yourself through air, it makes a big difference. Uh, 
And uh, one cool thing is about this game, if you do have a treadmill that, I mean, you have to see which ones are compatible, but this game does have a, it has running courses. So in this world, there's cycling courses and running courses. So when you're riding around, you'll see people on the side of the road running. So they're on a treadmill that's hooked up to the game. It's the same thing. It'll automatically adjust the incline and all that stuff when you're going uphill. Like right now, I just hit a hill. I can feel it in my legs. You can see in the top right corner, it says 5%. You know, on that big ring. Thanks for the thumbs up, boy. All right. This is the beginning of the hill. This is where it all started becoming shitty during the race. But I'm not going up this thing again. So I'm gonna spin this down. And we are done with this ride. Oh boy. All right, we did it. Stage four in the bag. I doubt my calorie counter is gonna be accurate with the shit either because my heart rate wasn't accurate. So what time is it? Almost noon, it's 11.58. And today I've already burned since midnight because that's my starts calculus. It says 1,460 calories. So I'm well over a good number for the day. And the good thing, about exercising like this even after your heart rate comes down you're not burning you're not done burning calories after a workout like this my body's still going to be in hardcore burn mode for probably another I don't know, 60 90 minutes at least so i'm going to be really burning through those calories so i'll probably be through like 3,000 calories today which is good got to bring back that six pack the holidays toss that thing out the window not horribly but it did it well enough. Man, this thing is soaked. I could wring this out. All right, I could easily wring it out. I just got a puddle in my hand. Ugh. Get off this thing. Yeah, come on, if you want to see, check it out. We're still here. I'll show you my setup for my bike. I'm gonna be shaky a bit. Switch it over here. Look how bad my hand's shaking. So, Got my computer here, my second monitor up here, and then, so my bike is sitting on that trainer bit back here, this piece, so the back tire's on that, front thing's on a riser, so this is my actual race bike, and so I just hook it up, the trainer's hooked up to the USB port, and then I get to look at it on the screen, and then that's how you do the ride. Awesome stuff, right? All right. Well, I guess that's it. I'll leave you guys with some of these crazy tunes for a moment. Thank you for watching Stage 4. We'll be back on Tuesday. What day is that? Tuesday, January 24th. Probably around 4 p.m. Pacific is what I'm still shooting for. That's been my start time for the last few stages, except today. So... We'll be back for Two Wheel Tuesday. We're going to be doing Stage 5. I have no idea what it looks like, but that's what we're going to be doing. So if you would like to join me, if you're watching on YouTube or on Twitch, wherever else is watching this at whatever point, go ahead, buy the setup, get Zwift, look in, see what's compatible with it, set it up, and you can come in and ride with me also. It would be good to get a team together. I think it would be fun. Um... If you're watching on YouTube, go ahead, check the link in the description below to take you to my Twitch page so you can watch live, come join in, motivate me a little bit while I'm doing stuff like this. It's going to be twitch.tv forward slash kilted underscore port. And those are you watching on Twitch. You can go check this out again later on YouTube. You can go to the, that place. Same thing as you see on here, same logo and everything. And yeah, that's it for cycling today. Uh, I should be back on hopefully later this afternoon after I get done doing some laundry or something. Or maybe while I'm doing my laundry, I got a shower and all that crap. Um, we're going to be 
doing, I'm guessing, right now in my head, how I'm feeling right now, it's either going to be Stardew Valley or maybe some more Dark Souls 3. Just however I feel. Hell, maybe both. Who knows? Because I want to get my laundry done, play some games, go get some Taco Bell, and just ruin all the effort I just put in. <laughs> Alright. So, we'll see you guys in a few hours or in a few days. Have a good midday, mid-afternoon.